Hello, one and all. This is Luckless of Locks, and welcome to a Luckless Looks at Dark Quest, a game by Brain Seal. And I'd like to thank them for providing me with a copy of the game to play with all of you for the 30 days of Luckless Looks at 2022. Let's jump in. Who dares challenge me? So we have to start by creating a party of four heroes. We've got the Barbarian, who's got some, I guess, melee attacks. Has a strength of seven, speed four, intelligence three. Not sure what that stat is. It's probably like something to do with how well they perceive, perception, perceive stuff, perception, something like that. Uh, kick, counterattack, throw axe. So uh, a bit of a tank too. There's a counterattack thing. I always love tank characters in games. We've got the dwarf. We kind of had a dwarf theme going on in uh, the three days of Luckless Looks At this time around, because we played Dwarf Romantique, which is a, uh, which translates in German to Romantic Dwarf. Uh, we've got, uh, once again, another tank, I think. Iron Barrel is interesting. Creates a barrel that attracts attention and can take up to two hits. Spike Barrel returns back two to three damage when it breaks. Exploding Barrel deals one damage in a three by three area when it breaks. Interesting, different kind of class. Uh, six strength, two speed, three intelligence, and six perception. I'm just making that up once again. We got the archer, obviously range, DPS, and evasion. That's cool. Three strength, seven speed. Or maybe it's dexterity. I don't know. Three int. I'm playing this for the first time, so I don't know what these mean. Four um, perception. Four eyes. Maybe that's how many eyes they have. Hold on. I don't know, I can't see their faces. We got the wizard. Uh, range DPS probably. Teleport, cool. Instantly moves you to the target location. As you can kind of surmise, this looks like um, like an adventure, choose your own adventure, card-based RPG tactics kind of game. Lightning storm, burning hands, visibility. You cannot be targeted by cards. You have plus one damage when you attack. Two strength, three. Movement, whatever, dexterity, seven, int, and six eyes. And then we've got the lady. Uh, magic attack, attract, redirects adjacent weapon attacks to you. Huh, weaken. Oh, so kind of a bit of control, crowd control. Weaken, like um, debuff kind of class. Divine shield, see like a utility class and sacrifice. One health to a random ally when you get attacked. Two strength, three dexterity, six int, and six eyes. I think I'm going to go with... We have to pick four. The lady. Wizard. The wizard, the dwarf. dwarf. Barbarian and the barbarian. I guess this is her health. Eight, four, seven, and eight. Okay, we've got money. This, I think, is our... Click on this window to learn more about exploration mode. We should probably read this. Draw exploration cards from the hand until you reach the end of the deck. Okay. Attributes. This is the average strength, agility, intelligence, perception. I nailed it. Of the party. The higher the number, the higher the chance to succeed on a party attribute test. Open your equipment card, select a card, and then choose a hero to equip it. A hero may carry up to five pieces of equipment. Okay, so this is equipment. Runes are special cards that are always active and affect the entire game. Party cards are concealable cards and can be used by all heroes in combat. And back to exploration. Okay, well, let's draw an exploration card. The Elder. The Elder nods as you approach. Adventurers, I have gathered you here to wish you well. Only you can stop the evil wizard and his chaos magic. Good luck. Receive a rune. You heard about those? Gold rune plus 30% gold on adventure cards. Magic dice. Oh, I should mention this is, in, this is coming out in early access also. And it should be releasing in early access the day that the video comes out. And there'll be a link in... Um... A description for the uh, for the game on Steam if you're interested in picking it up. Magic dice. Once per area, you may re-roll the dice. Hmm. Let's just get the passive gold rune. 
Wagon Merchant. Greets you warmly. Heroes, everything rests on you. Please take this armor to aid your quest. Drawing an equipment card. Magic Staff, zero to one damage on magic attacks. Zero, that's not good. Cloak of Resistance, plus one magic shields at start of battle. Let's get this, because that's always going to be good, whereas this is random. The Alchemist ushers you over. Please, fellows, take a potion to strengthen you for the challenges ahead. This is the party card. Potion of Heroism, gain one action for this turn. Power potion, add plus two damage on your next attack. I like getting another action. That's usually OP. So we're, this is us in camp, maybe before we go out. Oh, this is our deck. So we've got magic attack. One magic damage. Attract. We read this. Magic attack. One to two magic damage. Range. Instantly moves you to the target location. Teleport. Weapon attack. Drink ale. Miss or double damage. Miss or double damage on your next attack. So either get really drunk and miss, or you get really drunk and hit really hard. And we just have weapon attack with the barbarian. May the spirits guide you on the path ahead. Venture forth and slay all who oppose you. Let's head to the forest and see where the adventure takes us. Great forest. That's that sounds intense. So what, what is this? One die. The blacksmith eyes you as you approach. Well met, adventurer. What do you need? An equipment card or ask the blacksmith for better equipment. Roll a six and above. Let's just, let's just get an equipment card. Sword, zero to one body damage on abilities or green amulet, zero to one on healing abilities. Do I have any healing abilities? I didn't read any. <laughs> Let's go with the sword. I'm not, I'm not, I don't like that zero to one. Ooh, look at this scary tree. Scary bear. Looks like the bear is about to eat my sword. A pack of wolves. Out of nowhere, a pack of wolves leap from the tree line and block your path. Barring their, appearing their teeth and growling. You won't be able to continue on this path without a fight. Attack, upgrade a hero. I guess if we win, we get to upgrade. Let's fight. See what it's all about. Your first battle. Combat Try tutorial. Not to embarrass yourself. I'll probably embarrass myself and everyone that's watching this. Turn order. Once a hero has completed their turn, the game will pick a monster to play. So random. This will go back and forth until every character has played at the end of a round is reached. Next monster. The next monster to play is highlighted in a purple glow. Plan your strategy accordingly. So it's not random, I guess, or it is random, and then we know what's coming next. Health and armor. Health changes are permanent. There's no maximum health. Does it carry over from battle to battle? So you can just heal someone over and over again. That's interesting. That's that's really different. Armor and magic resistance provides extra health versus body and magic damage. We're set at the beginning of a battle. So, like, if you have one armor, then it'll absorb one body damage. One magic resistance, uh, one uh, magic damage. Cards. Primary. Moving or using a primary card will end the character's turn. Secondary. You're allowed one secondary action before a primary action. How do I know? Oh, I see. Secondary action. This card may be played before a primary action. Free. I'm not sure where we're seeing this. Maybe when I look at a card, it'll say secondary action. Free. Some cards can be played with no action costs. Overwhelm. When two characters are adjacent to an enemy, they gain plus one damage on their attacks. Larger creatures such as 2x2 two two and very large 3x3 three three require three and four characters, respectively. Okay. That's it? So I, get, I guess I get to choose someone. These are two by two, so we need three to surround them, eh? Let's get the dwarf in there. Oh, potion of heroism, right? Oh, there we go. Secondary action. This card will be removed from your hand after you play it. Available and usable by all party members. Skip turn. Okay. Drink ale. It's a free action. Discard. 
So I could I could drink this. And then weapon attack? Oh I see, we're actually selecting where we attack from. See that arrow? Let's just go after Let's go after can I move this far? Zero. Uh oh, minus two. So I guess I guess we 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 missed. Can I? No path. Okay. It says three up there. Very nice. Uh, okay. This is a primary action, passive. This card is always active. Interesting. So, and if they're attacked, it will go to her and she has one armor and one magic defense. This is a secondary action. Okay. So I can like move back. Select a position to use this card from or click the same tile. Oh. Nailed him. Wait, they didn't go? Let's get in there. So we, we will do extra damage, right? Because we had three surrounding them. Your party grows stronger. Use your experience to upgrade a card or learn a new one. Upgrade hero or continue. I guess if I click continue, I'll get to learn a new one. I don't think I don't, I don't think I got to upgrade. Wait, what? Oh, I can give this to people. Oh, okay, okay. Plus on magic shield at start of battle. So they have the equipment. And then, oh right, this is the party cards. Okay. I I think I lost my opportunity to, to upgrade the hero. Well, that sucks. It's okay, we're, we're, we're playing hard mode. You're startled by unusual sounds emerging from the trees and bushes beside you. Are they worth investigating? There may be treasure, or worse. Damn right, we're gonna investigate. Roll the dice to see what happens. Do I have the one that lets me re-roll? Did I pick that? One, a large grizzly bear roars and attacks you in an ambush. Two to five must have been pesky woodland critters. Six to 10, draw a party card. Let's go. One. Reroll. Nine. Yes! Power card, or uh, party card. Plus two damage on your next attack. Sounds good. <laughs> that really sucks that you get to upgrade. Lady, it's, roll the skull of fate. It's just kind of weird that it said, upgrade a card or get a new one, but there was no option to grab a new one, and I just assumed continue was that. Lady, you have been summoned by the Skull of Fate. Roll the dice to discover your fate. You suffer two to three damage. Five to seven, nothing happens. Eight to ten, heal for one to two. Ten! Yes! I'll take it. Once again, there's no max health. An ambush. The forest comes alive as tendrils snake and lash towards you. Prepare yourselves! Ambush. Upgrade a hero. I guess they're going to get to attack first. No! Ah. 
Oh, no. oh he's, he's dead. That's not good. I can't. Can I get them back? Magic attack rate. Okay. And once we get hit, the armor just goes away. All right. Just dead! Oh no. Oh no. Your party grows stronger. This time I think I'll use my experience to upgrade a card. Select a character. Oh, maybe I have to select the character <laughs> and I upgrade the dead guy. Well she seems she seems good. Cards, okay. I think I, we're getting to pick a new card here. Also an health to a random ally when you get attacked. Shield that blocks up to three damage. Enemies adjacent to the lady take a plus one damage from attacks. But I don't, oh, there, there it is, we can. And I, it looks like you can upgrade it three times. Waterfall. Fresh water careens down from the waterfall. You drink deeply, feeling revitalized. Heal a random character by two. Maybe it'll heal the dead dude. Nope. You notice something unusual behind the trees. Someone is trapped inside a cage. Rescue the Lancer. Oh, we got a new hero. Looks kind of like the Hellion uh, in uh, Darkest Dungeon. So that's someone we're going to be able to pick when we uh, start a new game. Okay. I guess, because we're not getting them right now. Thieves! Oh no, a bunch of low-life thieves emerge from the trees. Must be tough trekking through here with all that stuff weighing you down. Let us lighten your load. I can test the party strength, which is six. Attack, put these scoundrels to the sword. Hand over a random party card. Let's try to test our party strength. We haven't done test that yet. Test your party strength. You crack your neck, slowly moving into a classic hero pose. With your weapons drawn, you hope your balance will keep up. Test your party strength to see if you succeed. One to four, the thieves laugh at this matter, at this theater, sorry, and attack in an ambush. Five to 10, the thieves dart off in a different direction. We get to upgrade. One. No! Ha <laughs> you fools. Okay, so this one's next. So if I just walk up to them. But maybe I should attack this guy because we're surrounding them, right? Yeah, I should have moved there. Because I could have taken that hit. Ah, okay. So I can't I can't take two turns at the same one. Makes sense. Die, you dumb skull. Should be able to kill them. Wait, don't I? Oh, they ambushed me. I don't get to upgrade. This is this is not going well. You see a shrine dedicated to the spirits of the forest. Will they hear your prayers in these trying times? 
Oh man, I can't pray to have someone resurrected. Let's go healing. You pray to the spirits, roll the dice to see if they will listen to you. One to two, the spirits ignore you. Three to 10, heal a character for one to two. Yeah. One. I'm getting a one every time. <laughs> Bullshit. Ignored once again. Bullshit, I call. Dwarf, test your perception. The dwarf steps in some thorns. Great. Roll the dice to see what happens. Suffer one damage or carefully pass through them unscathed. Six. Okay. It's been about 50-50, I'd say. You know, good and bad. You reach a decrepit stone structure. Within the ancient ruins, a large group of undead are gathered round a rune in prayer. Attack them! Okay, what does that mean? There's an undead rooster! That one's got armor. Yeah, let's get her in there. That's passive, right? This one's gonna go next. Huh? What? They hit. Bo oh, I can look at their their skills. Why does your body damage also damages the character behind? Dastardly. Stun. One, one every three attacks, you remove any remaining actions from the enemy. That's passive. Okay, we don't need to worry about the undead rooster. Drink ale! Kill him! Oh, that means block. Okay, <laughs> I guess I know what that means now. Attack! Wow. Wow. And what is this? That means they've taken their turn, maybe? I don't know what that means. Kill the rooster! She's up. Add plus. Maybe I should do this so they don't get another attack. Although they won't get to go next because they're not they're not purple, right? Doesn't matter. A powerful rune materializes in front of you. Its magic power will surely help your party. Armor rune plus one armor on all heroes at start of combat. Overwhelm rune. One bonus over damage on overwhelm. I feel like we're taking a lot of damage. I think the armor is probably good. Like, look at our party. Leave forest. You have reached the edge of the forest. On the horizon, you see landmarks to explore. Where would you like to go? I think I'll go to the undead ruins. I don't know. Undead ruins. Uh, so this kind of gives you a sense of the type of enemies you might fight, I think. I wonder if there's secrets in the environment. These, I assume, they're just automatically, automatically activated. This old keep has many rooms. This one is full of discarded equipment. You could probably find some useful weapons and armor if you search through it all. Chainmail or flail? Let's go chainmail. On our boy here. Wait, you already had Cloak of Resistance! It's fine. It's fine. You feel a draft emanating from behind a large bookshelf. A secret passage, perhaps. There are secrets. You could move it and see what's on the other side. Test party strength. Test your party strength. One to four, it remains unmoved. Five to ten, it was a secret passage. You press on. Seven. Yes. Excellent. You find an old alchemist table. Potions were mixed here. 
And the myriad stains and burns seem to connote that some were more successful than others. Party card. Double damage. I gotta use those. Lady, <gasps> roll a skull of fate. Skull of fate! One to four, you suffer two damage. Five to seven, nothing happens. Eight to ten, heal for one to two. Four. No. No, I don't suffer two damage. I refuse. An old alchemist table. Potions were mixed here. Same kind of thing. Heroism! This majestic feature may have provided water for the entire keep before it was abandoned many moons ago. Oh, I need that. Heal your party for two to three? Are you kidding me? You find a stash of coins on the floor. Finders keepers, 80 to 120 gold. What do we do with gold, I wonder? This room appears to be empty. But that only makes you more curious to uncover its secrets. Let's search. Test your party perception. Ah, okay. You begin searching the room, looking for false bricks and cracks to reveal some amazing hidden treasure or passage. Roll the dice to see if you find anything. One to four, trap. Five to ten, gold. Ten. Yeah. I don't know what I do with gold. Barbarian, test your intelligence. I cast a spell on you. Test your intelligence to see if you can resist it. If you fail, your party loses a random party card. That's not too bad. Eight to 10 resists, otherwise we lose a random party card. Nine. We resist the spell. Well done, Barbarian. Barbarian, test your perception. Well, the Barbarian's having a bad day and is about to step into a dangerous trap. Two spears are lodged in the far wall at chest height. Test your perception to see if you trigger them. One to seven, random ally receives one to three damage. Eight to ten, we're good. One. No, the dwarf! Barbarian, test your perception. We've had no combat so far. You step into a trap again. Spears from underneath your feet are about to shoot up and hit your legs. One to seven, we receive two to three damage. Ten! But instead, we roll a ten and dodge the trap. Ah, you spy a horde of shambling undead monsters in the ruins. What will you do? Attack! Wait, we did have combat, right? <laughs> right away. What am I talking? Seven? Only can attack. Whoa. Body damage. Damage aura. At zero to one on party body attacks. Passive. One armored ally. So we gotta take out. Well, actually. Yeah, I gotta take out this guy first. So let's get. Double damage. Seize this. Yes. Okay. Double damage. Killed in one stroke. Upgrade a hero. Select a character. Well, we're gonna. They, Dwarf was the MVP in that one. Creates a barrel that attracts attention and can take up to two hits. Turns back two to three damage when it breaks. Deals one damage in a three by three area when it breaks. Let's just do the iron barrel. Cool. Lady, test your perception. I think she's got better perception. Uh, she's about to step into a dangerous trap. Two spears are lodged in the far wall at chest height. One to four, random ally receives one to three damage. That could kill us if it's if Lady gets it. 
one. No! Okay, one damage. Doing all right. On the horizon, a large winged dragon is perched on a mound of golden bodies. Lots of bodies. Attack! Holy shish kebab! Who's this? Wow. Weapon attack, critical strike, double damage once every three, once every three weapon attacks. Zero to one on party body attacks. Okay, so let's take out, let's take out this guy first, eh? Oh, it's a secondary action, okay. I don't know, where do I put this? Here? There you go, you attack that. <laughs> I guess we'll attack from this angle. That way we'll be adjacent to the dragon. Good. So. Okay, let's get them an extra action. Wait, did she drink it? No! I just attacked my own! Uh, I wanted to change it was taking the action. I attacked the, the barbarians got berserk! Shit. Okay, well, we're learning here. You can attack your own people, so good to know. Uh oh. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Miss or double! Do it! Don't kill her! She's dead because of my attack! It's all the barbarians' fault. No! Oh, the barbarian! <laughs> There's an archer there! Oh no, I didn't see the archer. Oh! We got a rune though. A powerful rune materializes in front of you. Its magic power will surely help your party. Plus one damage on first attack at battle. Plus four on healing from... Let's go plus one damage on first attack, because we're not getting much healing. You spy a horde of shambling undead monsters in the ruins. What will you do? Attack! The barbarian has bloodlust! Get him! Oh, now they get to take all their turns. Oh, he damaged his ally. We're familiar with that. You are no match for my no, magic. No, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually a ton of fun. Thank you so much for joining me for a luckless looks at Dark Quest. Once again, thanks to Brain Seal for the copy of the early access game. Check me out tomorrow for another Luckless Looks At. Brand new title for the 30 days of Luckless Looks At 2022. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now. I'll see you on the next one, and I love you all.